The garbage collector is a special feature of C-sharp that automatically clears objects from memory when they are no longer needed. For example, once a method has finished executing, the garbage collector removes any variables it used from memory. Thanks to the garbage collector, it's very rare for C-sharp applications to suffer from memory leak issues, where the program uses up more and more memory until it overloads the system. The garbage collector will work automatically without you needing to do anything, but you can send commands to it by using the GC class. The GC class can also provide some useful information about memory usage. In this lesson, you'll use the GC class to give commands to the garbage collector. To begin, open the stable base project from your sample files folder. And open the code behind file of scheduleadmin.aspx. The getSchedule method on this page creates a list collection of task row objects in order to display a schedule on the page. The garbage collector will automatically remove the collection from memory eventually, but you can use the GC class to tell the garbage collector to remove it as soon as the method is finished. To begin, we'll use the GC class to monitor the project's memory usage. Add the following code to the page load method just before the code calls the getSchedule method. Response.write memory usage before getSchedule method plus gc dot get total memory false plus an HTML break tag. Now add the following code just after the getSchedule method is called. Response dot write memory usage after get schedule method plus gc dot get total memory false now view schedule admin dot aspx in your web browser this indicates that six million four hundred and seventy six thousand 612 bytes of memory were being used before the getSchedule method was called, and 7,756,644 bytes were being used afterwards. These numbers will always be different depending on your computer's current state, so you won't get exactly the same values. You should always find, however, that the second number is higher than the first one. By subtracting the two numbers, you can see that calling the getSchedule method added 1,280,032 bytes of memory usage to your application. That's about 1.22 megabytes. Close your web browser now and return to Visual Studio. Next, you'll add some code to manually tell the garbage collector to clean up memory. Add the following line of code just after the getSchedule method is called. GC dot collect. This tells the garbage collector to clean up memory immediately after the getSchedule method is finished. View scheduleadmin.aspx in your web browser once more. and examine the lines at the top of the screen. The garbage collector cleaned up 1,819,616 bytes of memory when you called its collect method. However, not all of this memory was allocated by the getSchedule method. The garbage collector cleaned up some other objects that were added by ASP.NET. Refresh the page using your web browser's Refresh button. 
This time the difference is much smaller. Only about 146,000 bytes. You can actually see that the application is still using slightly more memory after calling the method than before it, but the difference is now much smaller. You might think that telling the garbage collector to clean up memory has made a huge improvement to this project's memory efficiency. But it's important to remember that the garbage collector would have eventually done this automatically. It's really never necessary to tell the garbage collector to clean up memory. But it is useful to understand how it works and how to use it to monitor memory usage. It's important to note that using the GC class can potentially make your projects less memory efficient. The garbage collector files your objects into one of three categories, or generations. Generation 0 contains objects that will be disposed of quickly, such as variables within methods. Generation 1 contains objects that are expected to remain in memory for longer. A public property of a class might be a Generation 1 object. Generation 2 contains objects that are expected to remain in memory for a long time, such as static classes. When the garbage collector cleans up memory, it promotes any objects that are still in use to the next generation. Misusing the GC class can lead to objects being promoted to inappropriate generations and remaining in memory for longer than they should. If in doubt, simply don't use the GC class. Close your web browser now, and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 2.8 Send Commands to the Garbage Collector